faith, fervor, zeal, and male pattern baldness. These are the things that classify a Victor Saltspire Zealot. In today's build, I will show you how to be the very best servant of Sigmar that you possibly can be. So without any further ado, let's talk about him here. His passive ability, Fiery Faith. Power increases by 5% for every 25 missing health. So the idea with him, with this build, you're going to be getting 6 stacks of that. Um, because you're going to run extra health, which will let you get another stack uh, when you get your health down to 30. And this is going to increase your power by 30%, which is uh, quite a lot. That applies to both his melee attacks and his range attacks. Pretty good. His career skill, Holy Fervor. Victor charges forward and gains 25% increased attack speed for 5 seconds. So literally just like a madman, charging in and just wailing on stuff, trying to kill it. He's also got unswerving strikes, charged attacks can't be interrupted by damage, and Heart of Iron, resist death on taking lethal damage. And this is a unique thing that is uh, possessed by Zealot and no other character. If he gets, uh, if he takes damage that would normally kill a uh, normal player, um, he gets a couple seconds of invulnerability, and that's that's called his Heart of Iron, and then it resets in like two minutes. So a long cooldown, but something that can definitely uh, come in handy. Today's weapon, I'm going to be going with the Bill Hook, and for that, you want uh, Sigmar's Herald here, damaging multiple enemies in one swing uh, for temp health, max five in one swing. Pretty self-explanatory. He also possesses Killing Blows for temp health. This is one I used to run a lot, but I think with the additions of Sister of the Thorn, Ground Knight, all these high damage classes now, it's kind of harder for him to get these kills. So the more reliable option, I believe, is damaging. On his second line down here, Castigate increases attack speed by 10% while below 50% health, double the effect while below 20% health. So this is perfect because you are going to be killing no more than 30 health uh, with this setup which is uh, less than 20% health, obviously, of 180, would be 36. So you're under that mark, so you're going to get 20% attack speed and 30% power already from these talents and his passive. The only level 15 line talent that you should be running with this setup is Smiter. Smiter is excellent, especially for the bill hook, and that is a weapon whose heavy attacks um, generally will try to one or two shot things, um, making mainstay pretty much irrelevant as you're not going to hit too many things uh, on the third time, you know, with a bell hook. So Smiter's definitely the way to go for this one. On his level 20 line, Holy Fortitude is an excellent talent. Each stack of Fiery Faith also increases healing received by 15%. So yeah, yeah, you read that and you're like, oh, I can heal more with a potion or a pair of wraps, a big freaking whoop. Why would I want to do that on Zealot? But if we use our brains, we'll also realize that this works with temp health. So if you get down to 30 health, you know, with Zealot on this setup, you're going to get your 30% power, you're going to get your 20% attack speed, and now you're going to be making, uh, what is that, 90% increased temp health? So almost double the temp health. If you choose to run Boon of Shalia, this does stack with that, so you can get that up to 120% increased healing. Um, so more than double temp health uh, you'll be making, which is quite thinking nice, if you ask me. On the level 25 line, Redemption Through Blood, taking damage restores stamina to full, so, you know, what's great about this setup is you don't really even have to block that much. Uh, you can just kind of dash into a horde, melee, 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 you know. Uh, say you run out of stamina and you need to block something, uh, you know, just take a quick little hit, little jab from a, a clan rat or something, you've got all your stamina shields back, and you can block the big overhead, or you can block the, you know, mar um, mauler, or, you know, the berserker, or whatever's wailing on you that probably would do a bunch more damage. You know, you sacrifice a little health for all your stamina back, that's pretty nice. On his level 30 line, I think all his ultimates are really good. Face Flurry gives you more power for uh, a couple seconds. Heal nothing, uh, gives you a little bit of extra survivability, you know, if your Heart of Iron's proc, so I, I usually run this one a lot. But one that I think is really good for this setup is Flagellant Zeal. 
Each hit during Holy Fervor grants a stack up to 10. Each stack reduces the cooldown of Holy Fervor when the buff fades uh, by 5%. So, yeah. What's really amazing about this ult is that you can get half of your cooldown just back immediately, which is really, really nice. So you dash into a horde, you know, you're melee, you're meleeing them. Um, you, know, you you hit ten enemies. That's all your stacks. That's when that ult ends. You're gonna get fifty percent of your ult back, which in most cases, especially if you run the ten percent cooldown, that's just gonna give you your ult back because by the time you know the timer runs out. For the for the stacks to be a lot for it to be a, a, acquired, um, it's it's gonna be like half your ult is left, and you're just gonna get it back. So it's really really good. This is a tremendous ultimate. For the equipment, I'm running the bill hook. Um, I like to run extra stamina with this because uh, it has an alt fire mode where you can just kind of like it look, almost looks like you're hoeing the ground. So there's a couple things this does. Number one, uh, it makes you look, make you move a little bit faster, which is so it's like some kind of some kind of move tech, which is really nice. But you can also stagger an enemy with assault fire, like pretty much any enemy. You can pull down the shields of storm vermin. You can stagger hook rats, plague monks, chaos warriors, pretty much anything but a monster. You can just stagger. But the thing with this, when you stagger and uh, you hit an enemy. With that stagger, it does a little bit of damage to them, by the way, um, but it does take stamina. So I think it takes half a stamina shield for each uh, little hook that you do to an enemy. So I run extra stamina so I can hook more things more times, which is kind of cool. Uh, you know, I'm not going to block with this weapon really ever, so I don't need block cost reduction. I don't need attack speed because I'm running Castigate, so, you know, stamina to me makes the most sense here. And then I also run Crit Chance to help try and proc Swift Slaying for even more attack speed. Um, which is really nice, and also, you know, occasional more damage. For the ranged weapon, I really like Brace of Pistols on him. I run Armored and Skaven with Scrounger. Scrounger, critical hits, restore 5% of max ammunition, can trigger once per attack, so, you know, you crit, you get, uh, what's that, 30 ammo total, so 5% of that would be one and a half, so you get, like, two ammo back, um, which is pretty sweet. It just allows you to have some sustain, be a little more aggressive if you want to kill specials, which I like to do. Then we have the necklace, and the necklace is really important for Zealot. You absolutely, absolutely, absolutely want to run 20% health. This is going to allow you to easily get another stack of Fiery Faith over here, which will let you acquire more power and therefore do more damage, cleave more things, stagger easily. It's just a no-brainer. You want to run extra health on a Zealot. I've got a token 30% block cost reduction here just in case I do need to block in an emergency situation. I'm not shit out of luck losing all my stamina in one hit. And then I choose to run Barkskin down here for a little bit of damage reduction. Like I said, you can run Boonishalia. That's also very good. The one thing you definitely don't want to do on a Zealot is run Natural Bond. You know, I do that in Chaos Waste because, you know, he gets his health back after each location. But in the normal game, that is a big no-no. You don't want to do that because you're just going to lose your stacks, you know. And, and in the normal game, it's much more feasible to get your stacks than it is and keep them than it is in Chaos Waste. Personally, I would say Barkskin, but Boonishalia, not a bad choice as well. One of those two. For my charm, Chaos Armored and Concoction, again, I don't need attack speed, really. Um, so my, my choice is, like, what do I want to do damage to, right? So I'm going for the biggest, the baddest, the things with the most health. That's Chaos, that's Armored, that's Chaos Warriors, Marauders, uh, you know, Beastmen, all count as Chaos. The best of would fall under that. The, the big bad things that scare me at night. And then Concoction, his ult's about a minute. Uh, which is pretty cool. So, you know, any kind of potion you want to drink, you get speed, you get strength, which allows you to uh, penetrate armor, break shields, deal more damage, and then you get a minute off your cooldown. So, you know, it's just kind of a no-brainer. Proxy's another good one you could run with him. Um, you don't want to run Decanter, and you definitely don't want to run Home Brewer. And then finally, for the Trinket, cooldown reduction, 
stamina recovery shrapnel pretty standard here cooldown with the cooldown reduction that takes it to 54 seconds because it's a minute normally again you don't have to run that it's just something i like to do you can go for like extra crit chance there you can go for your curse resistance um i think it's probably more important to have the stamina recovery than the cooldown reduction but that's just personally what i like to do and then shrapnel's good for dealing more damage to like monsters or something uh grenadier is another decent option you have a chance to dupe a bomb so that's also pretty good and there you have it guys this is the zealot ult refund build um with a tremendous amount of utility from the bill hook pulling down shields staggering hook rats is absolutely insane plague monks and berserkers you can stagger them chaos warriors i mean there's a lot to love in the bill hook guys try it out let me know what you think if you like this video leave me a give me a sub leave me a like possibly leave me a comment um and if you want i have a discord link will be in the description down below uh cool. we have 868 people in there last i checked trying to get that to a thousand you know we got a little community we play games people looking to play all the time talk about lore talk about builds stuff like that check it out see y'all in the next video